Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio. Here I am, Connor, with my new apprentice, Lexi the Black Lab. We're going to show you this Nissan 370Z we've got in for this week to have new front speakers. It's already been to us once to have a amplifier added, so now we're going to be putting the speakers in. It's having the Audison Thesis speakers, which are one of the best speakers that we do here. Uh, let's have a look at where we're starting. Like any installation, our most important thing we start off with is soundproofing. So if you look down here, we have done the outer skin already with Dynamat, and we've put a skin's wave diffuser on the inside, which basically stops standing waves, cancellation and whatnot. The whole inner skin has been removed, which is there, to gain access to that, which means window fully removed to do the job. Uh, there's a lot of uh, guides on how to do this on the internet, but people say drill out the rivets. No, you don't drill out the rivets, okay? If anyone ever watches another video on how to remove that, do not drill the rivets out. Where's my apprentice? Lexi. There she is. Hello, pup. So Lexi's our latest apprentice. She's an extremely good installer, ain't you, girl? Hey, yeah. You shoot what? Yes. Yep. She's out training to be a senior installer. Good girl. All right, away with you. Um, yeah, we'll uh, update this throughout the actual installation side. Uh, there's with the inner skin on. So um, yeah, keep watching. The next clip will probably be doors fully soundproofed. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing this one turning out. Voila. Doors soundproofed, outer skin, inner skin and the inner skin bolted back on on that side, window back in. On this side, the outer skin's been done, inner skin's still waiting because uh, we found there's a problem with the factory actuator on this car, so we thought, you know what, while we're in it, we'll get the actuator from this and change it for the customer, saving money in the long run because we're already in there obviously doing it. Now, round the back of the car is, oh, there we go. We've uh, got the thesis mid bases ready to be installed. We've made uh, we've made the collar to replicate the original original speaker that's there. It was a six by nine a standard. That's a Bose six by nine with a dreadful awful small magnet on the back. Very weird design, as you can see, it completely kicks kicks in at an angle there on that. So what we've done, we've made the collar completely ourselves, and we've actually given it the same matching angle as that speaker, but actually given the speaker a kick behind the factory grill. So it's gonna give a bit more an axis as opposed to sort of mounting down at the actual uh, feet. That's quite a nice design. They're gonna be painted then varnished. Uh, there's the tweeters that are going in, the Audison Thesis tweeters. And yeah, Audison Thesis mid base. This is extremely rare, this one, because this is actually the Mark One mid base. Very beautiful looking speaker. Actually you see through, so you can actually see all the way through. Going round to the outside, showing you the door card. There we go. We have fully soundproofed door card. We dine them out on first, and then we put the dodo mat on top. So two layers on the door card. That gives it a nice, basic cushion for the um, door card to go against on the metal, so we don't get any resonance. Hey, Simon. <laughs> and there's Lee in the background as well. Defender, another project going on. <laughs> you right over there? One more thing, before they're trimmed, the door card's probably gonna be back on when they are trimmed, because they go on last. So I thought I'd better show you the speaker install that we fitted first, because you're not gonna see that again. Now down here, we have the Audison Thesis mid base in its own, like the color I showed you earlier. This is all now painted and varnished. We have the foam ring to make sure the energy of the speaker goes straight through the grill. And then we've got these lovely quick release connectors. So they're nice and serviceable, easy to remove either speaker, but and they're using something a bit more higher quality than bullets. Jobs are done. These do look a little bit stunning in the flesh. There we go. Oh yeah. Proper shrink them into those sail panels. They look nice. I'm now sat in a car because I wanted to give you a view of what the tweeters look from the driver's seat. This, these have literally been designed for the driver and the driver alone. I'm going to turn it around. 
So we have the driver's side one facing straight at you. And we have the passenger one firing straight at you too. They're going to look absolutely stunning when they're trimmed. And if you keep watching, they'll be trimmed very shortly. Wrap, 370Z is finished, back together, trimmed up. Simon's just uh, hiding that lead for the DSP amp as we speak, because the customer's gonna be here in about 45 minutes, but it is all finely tuned now. Do you wanna see what it looks like all trimmed up? Yeah, you do, don't you? Let's, let's take you inside and I'll show you now. There we go. Pieces tweeters in the sail panels. Try our best to shrink them as much as possible into a very small area. Used a real good matching vinyl, which we're really pleased with. And uh, yeah, it's quite nice. It kind of the round circle of this matches the round of the tweeter. Almost the same angle. Not so much on the other side, because as I explained earlier in the video, that tweeter is directly pointed at the driver, just like this one. So you get it perfectly on axis. Let's sit inside. I'll show you what they are with the door closed and sat in the driver's seat. Here we go. They sit really nicely in this area. Um, it's, got, it's hard to explain, but it's, even though they're big, they are actually quite subtle. Doesn't inflict on any visible area in the car, so you know, they're not like inflicting on any blind spots or anything like that. They literally sit in a wasted space. Yeah, we're happy with this, it sounds incredible. Yeah, what more can I say really? You've seen the video, the progress, so you've seen kind of how the job goes from start to start to the end, shows you a bit involved in the actual, the builds of it. You know, it's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that people don't know about. So kind of showing you a few more videos of the actual stages throughout the job post are just showing you the end result and talking about the job, you know? So hopefully we'll do more videos like this. But yeah, if you can subscribe to our channel, like our videos, comment, you know, any input. If you've got any questions, just uh, ask them below and we'll try our best. But for now, this is Connor from John Cleese Car Audio signing off. See you later.